A draft report into claims that the Home Secretary Priti Patel had bullied staff concluded this summer that she had broken rules on ministerial behaviour. The Cabinet Office began an inquiry into her conduct after the most senior official at the Home Office, Sir Philip Rutnam, resigned in February. He alleged that staff felt she created fear in the department and he is suing the Home Office for unfair dismissal. Tonight, Labour is demanding that the report be made public. A decision on Priti Patel's future will be made public tomorrow. Our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, reports. She's the most powerful woman in the Cabinet, long-standing Brexiteer backer of Boris Johnson. In charge of the police, immigration, one of the most important jobs in the government. But since February, there's been a shadow hanging over Priti Patel because of this. Dramatic claims made by the man who was her most senior official. I have received allegations that her conduct has included shouting and swearing, belittling people, making unreasonable and repeated demands, behaviour that created fear and needed some bravery to call out. He quit, but she wanted to stay. So the government launched an investigation into what really happened. And now months on, perhaps it's starting to become clear. One source told me the draft report concluded way back in the summer says Priti Patel had not met the requirements of the ministerial code to treat civil servants with consideration and respect. And they said the investigation had found some evidence of bullying, even if it was not intentional. Another source said the report was unambiguous that Priti Patel had broken the code, the rules that are meant to govern how ministers behave. Yet for her part, here at the Home Office, Priti Patel has always firmly denied doing anything wrong. Are you a workplace bully, Home Secretary? The reports looked at her behaviour in three different Secretary? departments, and one government source told me it doesn't always give a flattering picture of what Priti Patel encountered. And the man who until recently was by the Prime Minister's side confirmed the findings of being in Boris Johnson's in-tray for a while, but implied that if Priti Patel was found to have broken the rules, she might not have to quit. The Prime Minister uh, wanted his uh, advice, and the Prime Minister needs to reflect and make a decision that that, as I understand it, is still in, still in trouble. The expectation here tonight is that there might be some kind of reprimand for Ms Patel, but it's certainly not likely that she'll be sacked. And Tory MPs are already rallying before the Prime Minister's decision is even public. I've worked with Priti Patel for a number of years, uh, and I've always found her strong, robust, uh, but never in any way anywhere near bullying or even threatening any of her staff, and most of her staff got on with her incredibly well. Yet convention matters. There isn't a single example of a minister who's broken the rules, who stayed on. What message does it send if the minister says, well, actually, although I said there'll be no bullying, what I actually meant was, well, a little bit of bullying is OK and it's not a breach um, of the ministerial code that requires a resignation. That's not the sort of message I think the prime minister, who's also the minister for the civil service, wants to send to those thousands of civil servants. Priti Patel had to leave government in dramatic circumstances before. Almost exactly three years ago, departing as soon as she arrived home from a foreign trip. After it emerged, she'd held unauthorised meetings with Israeli politicians. There may well not be an exit for her this time, but there's still a political drama. And Sophie, let's be really clear about two things tonight. Number one, Priti Patel has always and repeatedly denied that she did anything wrong. But number two, there is no precedent for a minister who's been found to have broken the code, the ministerial charter, if you like, that's meant to govern how ministers behave, staying on their job if they have actually been found to have transgressed in any way. But after many, many months of all of this, it's clear that this is reaching a crescendo. But it also seems tonight that the Prime Minister is very determined to try to stand by her. There's been a not very subtle attempt by Tory MPs all over social media tonight, posting so much about how they think she's the right person for the job, praising her to the skies. But we will know more tomorrow when we actually see the statements that emerge. After many, many months of this being a problem for the government, he will try to draw under a line under it, but I expect if the Prime Minister still tries to hang on to her, there may well be questions about how he can do so. Laura, thank you.